There he is, Senator Norm Ray. Very good to see you, Shem. I love you deeply, and I've always enjoyed that. I've watched your act for the last 15 years, and I've always enjoyed that joke. <laughs> I'm wearing Jerry Whitehurst glasses and everything looks like money in front of me. <laughs> but nevertheless, let's get on with what we're going to do here. My friends, and you know who you are, I have been asked to say a few kind words about Johnny Russell, but I've been caught in so many lies lately I don't want to start now. <laughs> So what we're going to do is just talk about it. Johnny, turn your back. I'm not used to talking to people in their face. Anyway, my friend Johnny Russell, the man with the face that has lunched a thousand shrimp. <laughs> Johnny was born in, uh, in Mississippi in a small farmhouse, as I remember correctly. It's kind of unusual because his mother was in the hospital at the time. <laughs> Johnny was so big when he was born. Johnny was so big, he was born on the 2nd, 3rd, and the 4th of July. Wonderful human being. Wonderful man. Now, we are faced with this problem here. Why would a young man of humble Mississippi beginnings want to seek the highest office in the land? Let's look at the record. Not mine. <laughs> Please, not mine. From those early days when his childhood friends used to roll him home from school. <laughs> stop this, stop this. Johnny has always been on the move. I remember on his high school football team, he played center, guard, tackle, and end simultaneously. But you know what? Johnny always a man of high morals was forced to leave home when his father started using four-letter words. Fine work. <laughs> well, instead, Johnny became a songwriter, and as you know, his accomplishments have been many, 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 many. At the time, Johnny had the Midas touch. Everything he touched turned into a muffler. <laughs> for the uh, mayor of Hendersonville. <laughs> Hello there, honey. I'm a little tired. Why don't you wait in my car for a while? As I was saying, Johnny was going to run for mayor of uh, Hendersonville, but he decided to run for the presidency because it's a lot easier job and it's cleaner. <laughs> I'll never live there again. But i tell you one thing, in order to attain the presidency of the United States, there must be a certain character in a man's personality. Above all, he must be a leader, and we know that on stage, Johnny Russell stands alone. He stands alone because there's no room for anyone else. I love you deeply, Johnny. I, I hope you feel it. Another thing, a great president must have humility. For example, a few weeks ago on the National Now Show, I have to turn flat whenever I say that word. Ralph has a little pocket radio and he listens to everything I do. But a few weeks ago on the National Now television show, Johnny was heard to remark to Ralph Emery, I'm so sick of talking about myself, Ralph. What do you think of me? <laughs> a president also must stand through great adversity. You all know that. At a recent concert, Johnny was confronted by a heckler who shouted, Johnny, Johnny, I heard your last album, and I certainly hope it was. <laughs> that didn't bother Johnny Russell. I ask you, it didn't bother him at all. Why, when he was done crying, he just went on singing. It takes a big man to do that, and you know Johnny is a big man. <laughs> Moreover, a president of Johnny Russell, president of the United States, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Russell. Thank you. 
you who are not standing and hitting up sliders. So what you can do is stand up. Back forward.